Super Diamonds Diamond, a mineral composed of pure carbon, is the hardest naturally occurring substance known. Diamonds are formed deep within the earth, between 100 kilometers and 200 kilometers below the surface in the upper mantle. Diamond bearing rocks can be erupted onto the earth's surface. Apart from their appeal as gemstones, diamonds have remarkable physical properties. They have the highest thermal conductivity at room temperature. They can be transparent, chemically inert, and they are the least compressible material known. It is not surprising that diamond has been referred to as the ultimate engineering material. Artificial diamond was first fabricated in the laboratory in the 1950s. In the early 1990s, it was believed that a new diamond age for electronics and mechanical components was about to begin. One of the rarest diamonds on earth is the Hope Diamond. In the Smithsonian's National Gem Collection, the Hope is on display in the National Museum of Natural History. It weighs 45.5 carats and is deep blue. Here is a reproduction of the Hope Diamond. The original was designed by Pierre Cartier, surrounded by 16 alternating pear-shaped and cushion-cut white diamonds. It turns out that when this diamond was forming deep within the earth, in addition to carbon atoms, that were locking into place to build the diamond structure. There were a few impurities of boron atoms that happened to substitute for some of these carbon atoms. Boron in the diamond is what gives the hope the unusual property to make it semi-conducting. The hope can conduct an electric current. Scientists can imagine a world beyond silicon where everything around us runs on diamonds. Diamonds can carry 30 times more power than silicon and operate three times faster. They are so efficient at transferring heat, they could run a computer that would completely melt a silicon chip. The problem is that diamonds are rare and natural semiconducting diamonds like the Hope are thousands of times more rare and they do not come in the right shape or size for technology use. Scientists want to create a synthetic super diamond with all the properties needed for industry. Carbonado diamonds are shiny, gray to black, rounded, relatively porous masses of fine-grained diamond mixed with graphite and other rare minerals. They were first found in 1843 in placier deposits in Brazil. Carbonados are not born on Earth, either the way regular diamonds are or by meteor impact. Some scientists theorize that they originated in dying stars. When shock waves from exploding red giants crushed carbon into dense aggregations of black diamond and sent them hurtling into deep space. Carbonado diamonds are superior to other types of industrial diamond in many cutting and grinding applications. These space diamonds have taught us a new way of making synthetic diamonds. They can be made in low pressure in a vacuum. Chemical vapor disposition is a process that involves feeding various amounts of gases into a chamber energizing them and providing conditions for diamond growth on a substrate. Element 6 is a global leader in the design, development and production of synthetic diamond and tungsten carbide supermaterials. The process of creating a diamond is to bring stable graphite, which is weak, into the strong stable structure of a diamond. They add a catalyst with the diamond fragments and carbon material into a chamber the size of a small tin can. They then press the container and squash it down. 
The pressures required would be like placing the Eiffel Tower upside down onto the can. A temperature of 1500 degrees is also required. Large equipment can be used to grow carbon layer by carbon layer. Hydrogen, methane, gas and microwaves are used to make plasma. Diamonds can be grown layer by layer. Diamonds can be made into powders and diamond discs. They can be tuned to a wide range of applications.